Welcome to the ECB Data Portal. The platform where you can visualize and analyze data. In this tutorial, we will discover how to search for data in the ECB Data Portal. Let's start with the search bar on the home page. In this example, we will look at inflation data. Just type in the word inflation and then press enter on your keyboard. This search will bring up all the time series relating to inflation. You can then look at key information for each of the time series. In this screen, you can see the title, some details of how the data are measured, the data range, the value at the last update, and the time series key. The results are automatically sorted by relevance but you can also choose to view them by the latest update. The data displayed here are for the Euro area. However, you can also see data for individual countries. Just expand the selection and choose the corresponding time series. You can also search data for individual countries by typing the name into the search bar. There are many ways to filter data. You can choose concepts, geographical areas, datasets or frequency. Moreover, you can run more specific searches by clicking Advanced Filters. For example, within your chosen dataset, you can select a specific frequency for the dataset and a particular index type. If you already have a time series key, you can paste it in the search bar to find all the data related to it. You can also search for multiple time series keys you already have. Simply add the logical operator OR between them. In addition, you can also use wildcards to make the search easier. Wildcards are represented by two symbols. An asterisk is used to represent multiple characters in the series key, while a question mark is used to represent a single character. So, if we substitute the country code with an asterisk, we obtain all the geographical areas for a specific time series. If we substitute a particular character with a question mark, our search brings up different inflation indices. If you are interested in seeing additional information on the data displayed, you can open the Data Information tab. Don't forget that you can find out more about these features on our help pages. 